Are you struggling with creating a pie chart within monday.com? Let me show you how you can set up this chart within your monday.com dashboards. Hi, my name is Tara and I'm a certified monday.com partner and the founder of Simple Day. My goal is to help you build powerful yet simple workflows with monday.com. If you need help with a custom implementation, my contact details are in the description below. Let's jump into today's tutorial and make Monday the best part of your week. I'm going to start with showing you which column I want to pull information from for my pie chart. Now I want you to note that we have a status column here and I have a source column. Now the goal of my pie chart is going to be to understand the source of my leads. So this is a leads board and I want to understand really what percentage of leads I'm getting from Google versus Facebook versus word of mouth versus Google ads. This board doesn't have a lot of data on it, but obviously the more data you have, it's harder to just glance at this board and know the answer. Like let's say a hundred percent of my leads are from Google or 50%. So a pie chart could be really helpful. So the first thing that you need to do is define what what column you want to track. And here we're going to track the source column. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to the views and I'm going to click this plus button. Now you have two options here. You either can create a dashboard where you can have a lot of widgets or you can just create one chart. Now I usually end up making a dashboard with a lot of widgets because we want to track more than one thing. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to click on blank view. And you can see here, it created a blank view. And then I'm gonna click on add widget and I'm gonna add a chart widget. And this is the default that automatically popped up this chart widget. But now let's go ahead and edit it so it can be a pie chart. If you click on the three dots here and click on settings, you can see here that I have the options of different kinds of charts. I'm gonna click on the pie chart. And here you have two different options. It's literally the exact same thing, just visually it looks a little bit different. Now, if you notice our pie chart, this is pulling from the wrong column. This is pulling from the status column. And we said that we wanted to pull from the source column. So let's just tweak these settings so that way it does exactly what we want. The first thing that you need to do is click the labels, and that's going to tell you which column the information is being pulled from. So like I noted before, this was being pulled from the status column, but I want it to be pulled from the source column. So I simply search for source, and here you can see that my information automatically came in. Look how cool this is. I can see that 40% of my leads come from Google, and it's a really nice visual. Just to show you the difference, if you want, this is also a really nice visual. I guess it's just preference. The next thing that I'm going to look at is values. So I'm just going to count the items here and I can choose like if I want the average, the medium, the sum. Now, if you go to the settings, you can choose if you want a value. So here you can see like, remember I had two leads from Google, one from Facebook, or if I want the percentage. So you have the option to choose which one you want. I can also choose if I want top or bottom line options. And if I want to choose empty values or not. Now, the other thing that you can do is you can choose groups. In this board, I have a group for demo calls and a group for send proposals. Now, it could be that I wanna track only the upcoming demo calls, I wanna track their source. So if I just unclick this, now you can see that everything changed to be exactly 25%. As soon as I add in this group, now I have everything on this board is being tracked and you can see that the percentages are different. It is also important to note that you can filter here by a person if you want to filter by a person and you can also filter by different columns on this board. So let's just say I wanted to filter by only if the status is qualified. Now I only have, it seems like one person or a hundred percent of my qualified leads are from Facebook. So you can really use these filters to figure out what information you want to see. Like maybe it's different statuses, maybe it's by, different salespeople, like maybe you want to see where each salesperson, what their source of leads are. It could be that you'll want to do it based on date or other information. Now, keep in mind that something that I do um, when I want to set, let me, let's just remove our filter. Sorry. Okay. Now, one thing that I like to do is I usually like to see a source of all of my leads. And then sometimes I want to see by month or maybe by current client. So you can have a number of these widgets and then you can set the filters to 
this week or, you know, this month or based on a certain group. So you really can tailor or customize this information based on what you're looking for. If you're interested in more charts like this, click on the link above to watch a video about how you can set up a chart view to track revenue month over month. Hit the like button if you enjoy this video and remember to subscribe to receive tips and tricks on how to use monday.com. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.